Hello everyone, it is the 19th of June today and today we're gonna be arriving in Mandela, woohoo! So anyway, it's super bouncy today. As you can see, I'm moving a lot. Um, the waves are a lot. Tate just saw a shark in the water. I didn't get to see it, I missed it, but I've decided I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna watch The Meg, which I don't know why I wanna watch it so bad, but I, I really wanna watch it even though we're out here on the ocean. Maybe I'm just freaking myself out and it's not a good idea. I don't know, but I'm going to do it. So. Obviously, we arrived kind of late, so everything's closed. We're gonna see if we can check in tomorrow, if not Monday. Today's Saturday, so. Look at the money, look at the money, it's so cute. We're in Mandelo, yay! Yay! yay. <laughs> Our first day in Mandelo that we were cleared to leave the boat, Tate and I decided to draw some cash, go for a long walk, and scope out the place. So we found a beach. Good morning, everyone. Today is the 22nd of June, 2021. It is day three. Day three. Yeah, it's day three. <laughs> the last two days have kind of been cleaning the boat and then like sitting and using wi-fi and that was it <laughs> so hopefully today we'll go to the beach and i can swim and i'll take you with us and i'll show you a little bit more of mandela so i'm gonna go to the bar and see if i can get some wi-fi edit my cv contact some people how cute is the bar I've been barefoot for the last like month, basically. I'm just barefoot all the time. So socks and shoes, super weird. Hey guys. Hey guys. Woo! I did it. <laughs> um, I'm back on the boat, as you can see. Some guy came and was like chatting to me and talking to me about how he believes the sun 
gives the rocks on the beach energy, so he likes to walk on them because it gives him energy, stuff like that. I don't know. It was an interesting conversation. It was quite nice. Then after that, I ran a little bit further, like uphill, further into the... It was more like a residential area, and then I just felt like a weirdo being like a tourist running to like an area where like people just live. I don't know. I just felt awkward. Everyone was looking at me. So <laughs> I like ran up a little bit, then I ran back down to the beach, and then I did a hit workout. And now I'm exhausted. I love Cape Verde, but it's very similar to South Africa in that like you're not going to go somewhere and leave your phone alone on the beach because they'll get stolen. In fact, it might even get stolen when you're late with your phone. I am now clean, sitting at the coffee shop, setting up our in-reach garden, drinking coffee. Life is good, guys. Life is good. How is your life going? Tell me in the comment section down below. I want to hear about it. And if you have any prayer requests, let me know. We are getting dessert. Yay! Tiramisu and a chocolate cake. Yay! And we're sharing. No, we're not. We did not discuss that. Getting but I will happily anyways. share, though. I will happily well, share. That looks way better. What do you mean? You can't say that on the vlog and then change your mind. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> but yeah, that's my dessert. And look at the view. It's so cute. We got our test back in like five, ten minutes. We went to the market and I got peanuts and I got I'm so excited to eat those. And yeah, now we're drinking coffee. supposed to be gone right now but there's a boat sitting outside of the fuel station so we can't fuel up so we're still here and I'm taking photos because what else can I do with this time really I don't know so I wonder how close I can get to the bird before it'll fly away let's try no that was not close at all so pretty, pretty birdie. Last meal. Yeah, boy. <laughs> After our time in Cape Verde, I felt refreshed and ready for the last leg of the journey. Our time in Mandela was full of ice cream, coffee, and dinner trips with Tate, and sometimes Colin. Leaving Mandela felt like the beginning of the end, and I was so excited to be that much closer to Portugal. As much as I was loving the trip and learning so, so much, 
I was also excited to complete this adventure and leave some of the difficulties behind. We're going to go up to the second reef, eh? Alright. Yeah. Do you want to stop, Sam? Go down there. Um, you can, I'm just going to go down there a bit. And then we will come into an outside Lazy Jack's off. That was a lot of terms thrown out really fast. So here's a little breakdown for you. On all boats, you have a port side and a starboard side. These are lazy jacks. They are lines which hold the stack pack up and in a closed position. Essentially here, Colin asks Tate to loosen the lazy jacks on the port side so they can lift the mainsail without it getting caught on them. Once that's done, Colin turns the boat so the wind is directly in front of us. That way, the sail isn't being pushed in any direction, making it easier to lift the sail smoothly. After that, we lifted the mainsail to the second reef. In simple terms, a reef basically has to do with how high you're putting the mainsail. This is all determined by wind speed. Okay guys, so we left, um, whenever we leave, I always feel really tired all of a sudden, just like, like my body feels like, the only word I can think of for it is like dampened, like my body feels dampened, I don't know, but anyway, so uh, Colin said I can go lie down. So I think I'm a little bit seasick basically, I think is what it is. So, um, nap time. But yeah, it's really bouncy.